This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell. I am here with Alberto Gonzalez. He's the founder of a restaurant in Manhattan called Gusto Organics. It is a certified organic restaurant. But uh, before we start talking, thanks uh, for being with me uh, here today, Alberto. Thank you. Thanks to you, Max. <laughs> it's a pleasure. I've been wanting to speak with you for a while because Alberto's restaurant is certified organic. Now, there are a lot of restaurants in New York City and all over the country that are organic restaurants, but Alberto's is a certified organic restaurant. So what does it mean to be certified? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, certified means that, uh, certified organic means that, you know, uh, a third party is being audited, whatever we do. Okay. Uh, they come and they do different audits, and, and in our case, 100% of the ingredients that we use are USDA certified organic. So, basically, that's the deal. So, 100% of what you serve is their certified organic ingredients, and how often do the people, the certifying agency, do they come in and inspect and check out your processes? They come and inspect uh, formally once a year, but uh, they come, uh, you know, without us knowing some, sometimes and, and, and see how things were, are being made. And, and we don't know about that. But, 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 you know, if they find any inconsistency, they really send an email or, or call or complain. Yeah. Now, you, when you started this, when you started the process, you did a lot of work to try to get the certification because there are no other restaurants in New York that are certified organic. So can you tell me a little bit about the process of becoming certified? Yes, I mean, that was, uh, starting was a complicated thing because the standard was for farmers, not for restaurants. And so we work very hard and cooperate with NOFA, which is Northeast Organic Farming Association of New York, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Certified Organic, that's the name of the organization, uh, to create the kind of a standard just to measure the restaurant, because we were adapting things from farmers to restaurants. It was very tricky, but very interesting. I learned a lot. And what was the biggest thing you learned in going through this process? I learned that, you know, that uh, it's all about transparency and it's something that I love. But, you know, uh, I, I, some people are a little bit against the, the USDA standard, but I love it because it's, it's the best thing we have. I mean, it's, 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 it's something very strong and, and it requires a lot of transparency. And I think customers should love that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, <clears throat> excuse me. When you make something, you have a, a, a dish, and you can't get a certain ingredient, do you take it off the menu? Yes. We, if, if we cannot find something, we need to take it off the menu. The process is so complicated that every single dish in the menu, menu uh, has to have a list of all the ingredients, and each ingredient has to have the, the organic certificate attached to the, to the ingredient. And if by any reason one supplier it's out of date on the certificate. They call me and say, Alberto, you need to get us a new certificate from this vendor or you need to replace the ingredient. Wow. So it's very tough. It's very strict. But I'll tell you, Alberto, one of the reasons that I really like coming here, aside from the really good food, is that when I come here, I know that what I'm eating is organic. Now, you just don't know that with other uh, organic restaurants. And the owners can tell you that, yes, we're organic, we promise. But, you know, we just don't know. In some other places, they may be out of avocados and they use, they may substitute uh, conventionally grown avocados or different ingredients. But one of the really, um, as I told you before, one of the great things about coming here is that you know what you're getting is organic. And it's, a, it's, it's just a comfort level um, that people have when they come here. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's told you that. No, it happens all the time. We have people coming all the way from Long Island, from Upper West Side, just to eat here because they trust us. And it's all about trust. And I think it's all related to integrity. And, and, and I would say that one of the key things about Gusto Organics and the way I like to do business is that we are in the business of doing good things for people in the first place. Yeah. And do that without damaging the environment. And, the, the, and we're really looking for profits at, at the, the end result of, of doing the right things, but not as a primary target. I think that makes a big difference because that's what creates trust and integrity. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm very appreciative of what you've done with this restaurant and getting the certification because I know it required a ton of work and it's a lot different than, uh, th than what, what most people are doing. It's really raising the bar in terms of restaurants and in, ter in, in the organic world. So I'm very appreciative uh, of what you've been doing here and it's, you're doing some great work. And if you haven't noticed, Alberto has a slight accent. He's from Argentina, which is one of my favorite countries in the world. So uh, thanks so much for your time today, and uh, I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you very much for coming, uh, Max, and, and yeah, I look forward to see you soon. Yeah.
Great. Uh, now, Gusto Organics, it's in the village. It's at the corner of 6th Ave and 14th Street in New York City. This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell. Just remember to buy well, eat well, and most importantly, live well. Thanks for watching.